I'm Group Captain Mark Manwaring and I have just delivered the keynote speech for today's Cool Aeronautics participants. It's based around the Flight of the Navigator project which is a circumnavigation of the Earth in a home-built aircraft and today's talk looked at science, technology, engineering and mathematics and set some problems for times, distance, speed and fuel calculations and they did incredibly well. It's great to have the children here at the Cooler Aeronautics event. Uh, in this event they have the opportunity of learning the principles of flight and flying a simulator. The simulator is based on the basic trainer used by the RAF for many years, the chipmunk aircraft. The children actually land the aircraft here at Holton on the grass airfield and touch down. Foil is very dangerous in that it's got very sharp edges, so be aware of that. We don't want people slicing themselves off, uh, slicing their fingers and stuff and arms and each other. Uh, we're making uh, model cars, um, lessons on aerodynamics and um, getting them to use their imagination and how to form a car and what shape it should be so it flows through the air nice and quickly. Hi, um, I'm Miss Wigglesworth from Aston Clinton School. We've come up today with a group of children to learn all about aviation. Um, they've had an amazing trip, they've done some fantastic team exercises and we've got a few budding pilots. Alpha Mrs Bravo, airport shops. Over. Over. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the children to uh, look at the airport map and work out where facilities are on the airfield and then challenge each other to find those airport facilities by passing messages via wireless radios. Is there for airport police? Over. Got the correct over. Uh, I'm AC Bowalter and I'm here today with a group of children here taking them around uh, RAF Holton. Um, they're really enthusiastic, they're a great bunch of children to work with, and it's a great introduction to uh, aviation. The newspapers. In half, like so. This is to aid rolling the newspaper up so you've not got much rolling to do. Then you put the paste on one side, on one edge, like so. Then you roll the newspaper up. Keep turning the handle, like so, and bringing down onto the newspaper. and you've got the sticks, it's called, of newspaper. The reason why we're making these sticks, okay, is so we can teach them about basic engineering. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make, to make um, a fridge that can hold a bottle of water. Okay, so they have to start thinking about basic engineering and think about the, str the strongest way to design these sticks. What have you learned today? A lot of fun. <laughs> That's it. Anything in particular you like? Um, the flight simulator. It was really, really fun! Hello, hello! This is a model of an aeroplane, uh, which we used, to show, we used to show you how aeroplanes actually work. Aeroplane moves in three directions, in three, three dimensions. So it's both forward and back, left and right, and up and down. So we need controls, like you have a steering wheel in a car, to control how the aeroplane uh, moves in the air. So once you're on up in the air, flying straight and level, the wings generate lift by their shape. Okay, they have a shape that creates, makes the aeroplane want to climb. All the aircraft controls they should be used quite gently because the cables, they're just steel wires connecting them. Now if you turn right and you watch this one, it'll come down. 
So these are differential air rods. So one goes up, one comes down. Hello. Uh, these children are from uh, Ashton Clinton School and they're part of the Royal Aeronautical Society's Cool Aeronautics uh, program for science, technology, engineering and math. So they come and visit the station for a day, they go up to the museum, various other activities and one of those act six activities is to come to a hangar here. He's told a little bit about how aeroplanes fly and more importantly to sit in an aeroplane and feel what it's like to sit in a small aeroplane. They all seem to enjoy themselves and they're generally well behaved.